Hello and welcome. Today we are going to discuss the rules that form the basis to ensure the quality of project schedule. To determine the quality and maturity of the project schedule, it is mapped against 13 checks. These rules are fundamentals in project health check tool. Let us discuss them one by one. So the first rule is that all the activities within the project should be linked to at least any other activity. It should have a predecessor or a successor. Only the first activity and the first milestone shall have no predecessor and only the last activity and the last milestone shall have no successor. Rest of all the activities shall be either having a predecessor or a successor. Rule number two says that the summary tasks should not be connected to any other activity. If you connect summary activity with any other activity, it can create a lot of problems for the sub activities as it will create a dependency for sub activities. So it should be avoided. Next rule is about the leads and lags and you should avoid using leads and lags in your schedule. Now the lead is overlap between the activities in relationship and the lag is compulsory delay between two activities in the relationship. The number of activities having leads and lag should be less than 5% of the total number of project activities and the duration should also be less than 5 days. So if you have a natural tendency of leads between the two activities as shown in the diagram that we have got the two activities of build the wall and paint the wall you can also distribute it into number of parts as shown in the diagram. The next rule says that majority of your relationships uh, should be finished to start. As you know that there are four types of relationship, finish to start, start to start, start to finish and finish to finish. So the effort should be made that majority of your uh, relationships and your activities should be finished to start. The next rule says about that there should be no hard constraints in the project. As you know that there are various uh, project constraints available that you can set in the project tool so you should avoid using those constraints because it can create a problem in the logical flow of activities that are lying under the critical path and the non-critical path. The next rule says about you see you should not be having a high float in, in the project and the rule says that the float greater than the quarter of the duration of the project should should be avoided. The next rule terms about uh, the negative float and the negative float in the project represents a delay in the project or a schedule corruption. It must be avoided and removed from the project schedule at all cost. The next rule says about that the project activity duration should be less than one month. Regarding the invalid dates, if we have any activity with, with planned work in the past or any activity with actual dates in the future that represents that either the project has not been updated correctly or the project's activities are, are being entered in, in future dates. So you should avoid and you should remove these kind of entry errors from your project schedule. The next rule indicates that you should have no project over allocation. By over allocation we mean that we are having more number of hours than planned for a particular resource in a project schedule so we should avoid either by adjusting the activity or stretching the activity so that the number of hours in a particular day or in a particular week for a resource is balanced. So next rule says about that all of the activities should be baseline and there should be no activity which is without baseline. Uh, regarding the missed activities, uh, 
if we are having a miss activities in the project it means that this schedule is being slept so we should avoid using uh, having miss activities in our project uh, the next rule says about the baseline execution index. This is calculated by number of not finished activities divided by number of baseline uh, finished activities and the index should be uh, less than 5%. So we should take care of this thing as well. So these are the 13 rules uh, which form the basis for quality health check uh, tool of by 7 consulting. If you've got any queries you are more than welcome to email it to us on 7.tools at 7consulting.com that's it thank you for watching the video